<laughs> okay, so this is the last day that I will be in Boston. Today we're going to be doing some pretty big things. Today we're going to be going to Cottrell Motor Company. We're going to be checking out some pretty sick cars. Um, this actually, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be we're replacing the slicks for this uh, GT3 that I just reviewed yesterday. So that'll be on my channel soon. So yeah, we got these loaded up in the race truck. And... Um, <laughs> We're gonna have some fun. Notice there's there's also a gym in the background. So anyways, let's get going. I don't know if I can drive an automatic. Race car, bro. <laughs> Just whipping it in the Nissan truck. Hitting that pink VTEC, bro. I think all the Porsches out in front. Probably a dead giveaway. We're here. So? There you go. All right. I'll buy the, uh, buy the takeoff for the Miata. <laughs> I saw buy the takeoff for the Miata. <laughs> oh, this is 996 GT3. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. Dude, just look at this car. Look at this thing. I would hate to look at my rearview mirror and see this. From the flares to the wing. I mean, just wow. So first, here's a Noble. A lot of you guys probably have no idea what a Noble is. But um, this has a, is a K20. Turbo K, big turbo K20 in it right now. If this thing was running, I would, I would review it, but. 500 wheel Mac in this thing. Oh my gosh. And then a lot of you guys probably know what this car is. This is actually, uh, if you play Forza, you'd know what this is. It's kind of stripped down right now, but this is an Ultima GTR. And then you got some interior. God, this car is just, it's just, I mean, there's, this is good. This is good stuff. What they've done around here is they take the 3.8 motor and put it into the Caymans. So okay, this car I'm actually going to be stealing today. It's gonna be nuts. I mean, it's like an OEM spec car. It literally looks like it just came out of the factory, but it's got the 3.8 liter in it, so it hauls. Oh yeah. We're gonna be stealing this. It's their baby race car. It's like the race car that starts all the race car stuff. But anyways, let's go. All right, bros, let's do this. Fun fact, Porsches have their ignitions on the left side of the car so that when you're racing, you can start the car and put it in gear at the same time. Let's roll. Oh, that feels so good. We are in a 3.8 liter Porsche Cayman. It's a 2007 Cayman S with a 3.8 liter swap. Now. For those of you who don't know, the Caymans, if you got a regular Cayman, it came with a 3.4. It came in S, actually came with a 3.6 liter. So this car has been swapped to a 3.8 liter. So just for simplicity, this car actually, I mean, this is a, basically it's a 20 grand deal to get this motor in this car. You do not see this very often. So this was built by Cattrell Motor Company. For those of you who don't know, Cattrell Motor Company is actually who was sponsoring my track days this past year. So very good stuff. Stuff. That's who you saw earlier, and uh, that's what kind of we're driving right now. I love Caymans. Caymans are incredible cars just because they're very balanced, and they're just... I, don't, I, I really don't know a word aside from awesome to describe them. So the fact that this has a 3.8 liter in it, it adds more power, but while at the same time maintaining the balance naturally that the car actually has. I mean, there's so much more torque from the factory. It just it makes cars feel so fun. Watch out, squirrel! I'm coming through. Very long gears. Wow! And even hitting the brakes, like there's no like instability with it. I mean, it's just solid car. I love the torque, I love the power. So it's such a good build. 
The shifter is very nice. It's actually got the shift linkage from the GT3 in this specific car. So it feels a lot like the GT3 that I actually drove, which I don't think you guys have seen that yet, but um, it's, uh, it's very solid, very, very solid. Oh man, and the downshifts. There's something about the 3.8 liter or even the 3.6. These cars just sound so good. So these actually, so Casual Motor Company actually builds a lot of very, very high profile, very high end cars. And they actually do a lot of, um, a lot of track stuff. So they actually have track spec Caymans that they'll build. This is kind of like the, uh, the, this is kind of the starting point, I guess you could say, um, for one of their Cayman builds. Like, like you saw earlier, like they got a ton of just, a ton of just really crazy stuff in the shop. And this is kind of the, uh, this is kind of the platform that you start on with these cars. So this is very, very fun. Haha, <laughs> this sounds so good. out. <laughs> so actually, just to let you guys know, you guys can't actually see him, but I've got Drew with uh, Through the Gears in the passenger seat right now. Just chilling. Yeah, I sorry, I couldn't get the hand. Okay. <laughs> These cars are actually for sale. If you want to check them out, I'll put Cottrell Motor Company, I'll put the uh, website in the description. They will have all the info there. But these are very, very cool cars. I'm fortunate to be able to just kind of take this out, hone it around, and uh, see how it did. I mean, this car was very fun. Bringing it back. Hey, Drew, don't mess this up, okay? <laughs> Drew is blowing it right now. You did it. Didn't break anything. Good job, bro. Do That's how we do it. <laughs> I don't know what's in here, but we're about to find out. Wow, it's really packed in here. It's getting V8 in this? Yes. That's sick. Is it an E34? Two E34 and fives. Right here? I'm right there. Dude. Oh, is this an M3? E36? Okay. So this car is a single turbo. Oh. Single turbo, 500 wheel. One day style of turbo. Exactly, exactly. What? There's. Wow, so it's sleeper. Hey, this is what you need, Drew. Evan? It's great to meet you, Tim. Yeah. You Thanks so much for letting me drive the car, man. That is fun. It's yeah. a good car. Yeah. So I found myself a little chair. Every house I've been to so far in Boston, I just ate an entire calzone, so I'm like just on the edge of just popping right now. Today was fun. Today was amazing. I've had a lot of fun here in Boston this past week. It's been amazing. I've had a lot of fun with a lot of friends. I drove a lot of cool cars. I met a lot of really cool new people and it, I don't know, it's just been, it's been an awesome trip and I just, I want to thank you guys again for just making this reality for me. I mean, this is, this is cool. I mean, I, I love the fact that I can travel across the country and drive cool cars and hang out with my best friends. But I am ready to get back to Dallas because I'm ready to work on my Miata again. Because of you guys, I am truly living my dream. And I tweeted out this morning, or actually I posted it on Instagram, one of my favorite things is the best time to start doing what you love, the best time to live your dream is now. There's also a saying that says the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, but the second best time is right now. So you might as well start planting right now. So guys. Thank you. Thank you for making this a reality. I'm so hyped. I'm so, it's been so much fun. I've, I've absolutely loved this and now I'm probably making you guys like motion sick. You get the sick little steering wheel behind me. We did, some, we did some sick stuff. Anyways, thank you guys so incredibly much. Hit that subscribe button for more videos. Guys, I will see you guys next video outside of Boston because Boston is done until next year. Peace out. I'm pitching a den right now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bros. <clears throat> Voice cracked. <laughs>